Good morning guys. Let's have a little chat. It's like 7 a.m. I'm already snacking. So I feel like lately I've been waking up so hungry and I normally like to wait a little bit before I have breakfast but on days like this I just need a snack. That's pretty realistic of my morning routine. I'll have a snack if I'm hungry. Today I'm having um, these Lesser Evils Egg White Curls and I love these. They're so good, they're high in protein. The main ingredients are just cassava flour and egg white. But I'll have a real breakfast later. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my protein pancakes. I'm also gonna show you guys my skincare routine and a typical workout that I do. If you already watch my videos, you know that I like working out in the morning, but sometimes that doesn't always happen. So today I just did a quick little stretch and foam roll. And foam rolling is a really awesome tool if you're a runner or if you train. I probably do this like once or twice a week, but I should do it more because it really helps with releasing tension and improving lymph and blood flow to your body. I want to just chat a little bit about why mornings are so important to me. If you struggle with anxiety or digestive issues, then your morning routine is a very helpful tool to help you center, ground, and set intentions for the day. So I've been meditating for about five years now and I definitely notice a difference when I stop meditating. If I don't meditate in the morning, I feel like I have trouble making decisions, I have trouble concentrating, I just don't 100% feel like myself. So even five to 10 minutes is super helpful. I also have some guided meditations on my channel. Movement is another very helpful tool for anxiety as well as digestive issues because it releases healthy endorphins. So I try to get my movement in in the morning. If it doesn't happen, I'll just do it later in the day. If you're new to my channel, by the way, my name is Molly and I'm a nutritional science student at Boston University, continuing on there in my master's degree in nutrition. And I started this channel because I wanted to share science fact, wellness, and health information. So if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe as well as hit the bell so you get notified for future videos. I post lots of recipes, nutrition videos, vlogs, and also yoga sculpt classes. But I like to focus on finding sustainable, helpful nutrition practices that will benefit your health and your life in the long term. First things first, I start with a clean face. So I use like a makeup wipe and just clean my face. And then I use this Atlantic Alchemy Wellness Toner. And um, my friend actually makes these and she's a local Cape Cod girl. If you're from Massachusetts or you're from Cape Cod, you should totally go check out her store. It's on Main Street Orleans on Cape Cod and it is incredible. It's just like the embodiment of the Cape. So beautiful, so much art. And her skincare is super effective as well as natural and really just clean, transparent ingredients. So I'll spray a little bit of this, it's a rose water toner. So it's pretty gentle, but I like that it kind of helps shrink your pores. It's a really good cleanser. I use it before my serums. The smell is awesome too. After that dries, I use the Atlantic Alchemy Siren Day Serum. I used her night serum for years and I just started using this day serum and I love it. It gives like this nice glow. The ingredients are sea buckthorn oil, which I've actually heard really good things about, rosehip oil, vitamin E, and almond oil, which just makes sense because vitamin E is a very important mineral for your skin. And it's very lightweight as you can see, like my skin doesn't really look greasy, which I love. And it gives your skin kind of like this radiance. So you can also order stuff online. I highly recommend doing that. And then I usually put this on before the day serum. I kind of got distracted, but the Ordinary Products Hyaluronic and B5 is one of my go-tos. I see great results with that. I just think it's very like skin evening and skin smoothing. And yeah, I like to keep it simple and clean in the morning and then I'll just put some sunscreen over this or a tinted moisturizer with SPF. I'm gonna go teach a yoga class virtually and then I will see you guys through the rest of my morning. I had a dream I could find my way to heaven. When I woke I spit that on a necklace. I told God I'll be back in a second. Man, it's so hard not to act reckless. 
to whom much is given, much is tested. Get arrested, guess until he get the message. I feel the pressure under more scrutiny. And what I do, act more stupidly. Bought more jewelry, more Louis V. My mama couldn't get through to me. The drama, people suing me. I'm on TV talking like it's just you and me. I'm just saying how I feel, man. I ain't one of the Cosby's. I ain't go to hell, man. I guess the money should have changed them. I guess I should have forgot where I came from. <laughs> So I ended up doing a workout before breakfast. I did a 45 minute kind of yoga sculpt bar flow and I usually just like set a timer and just move for 45 minutes or however long I have. I do have yoga sculpt classes on my channel. If you're curious about what yoga sculpt is or if you'd like a class, you can go check those out. I'll link them up here as well as in the description box below. I'm gonna make my favorite protein pancakes with new zest. Um, if you watch my videos, you already know that I love new zest. It's my favorite protein. So I usually start fourth of a cup and then I'll add an egg Depending on what protein powder you use, you may need more almond milk. You want to mix it until you get a pancake batter consistency. And if you don't have protein powder, you can also use oat flour, oats, almond, a meal. Um, I have so many gluten-free dairy-free recipes on my Instagram, at zucchini.hu, so if you don't already follow me, you definitely should go check those out. And if you're vegan, you can always sub the egg here for a chia egg, which is just one tablespoon of chia seeds and three tablespoons water. Let it sit for five minutes until it gels. down because I waited so long to eat but normally I try to practice mindful eating and it's such a simple concept but not a lot of people know what it is so it's literally just when you chew your food well take a few breaths try to put down your fork a couple times and really connect to what you're eating how you're feeling when you're eating it and notice how you feel after you're eating it lately I noticed that high protein foods are really satiating for my body so I've been eating a lot of protein in the form of legumes nuts seeds fish and shrimp as well as my protein powders which are pea protein based and also chicken which I literally haven't had in years that's just kind of what my body was craving so uh, I've been trying to really eat intuitively and just give myself what I need yeah that's been a huge change in my diet because I never used to eat chicken but I kind of just wanted it and it felt really good to eat something that was such a high biological value protein so what that means is that it's really well absorbed by the body anyways that is my general morning routine I normally have a smoothie, but sometimes pancakes just really hit the spot. If you like this type of video, routine, vlog, feel free to give it a like and comment down below so I know what kind of videos are the most helpful for you. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do that as well as hit the bell so you get notified for my future posts. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I release new videos every Thursday and Sunday. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you next time. I'm the only one that you love. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Hello.